welcome you to Red Rock Stadium. Triple-A action coming at you on the show. It's the Memphis Redbirds going up against the El Paso Chihuahuas. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Okay, all set to go. And now the center fielder, Justin Turner. The lefty ready and a 1-1. One -one. On the corner for a strike. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. In time. And a drop third strike leads to the first out. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. Now it's going to be Alec Burleson. Next pitch has popped up. Gore makes the grab. And there are two outs. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more select. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Bottom of the first. Here's the center fielder, Jose Azokar. Next offering misses, and yeah, that's ball two. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Rip to third. Slings it across. One gone, bottom half of the first. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Fernando Tatis Jr. continues to be one of the most dynamic talents in the game. That season he put together in 2021, one of the best in Padres history. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. And down on strikes he goes. Out number three. Second inning, set to go. Now, here is Nolan Gorman. And a 3-1 on the way. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. And now the first baseman, Juan Yepes. The next pitch misses, 3-1. There's a swing and a miss with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. In the air right field. Thompson on the move. And it's caught for the out. Next is the designated hitter, Lucan Baker. The 1-1. One, one. That one missed. Swing and a miss. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Ripped into right center. Base hit. Throw into third. And the throws offline. Safe at third. All over that one right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did. And he did it perfectly. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. 
in there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strikeout. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Azokar makes the play. Runner tagging from third. Throw is offline, and he scores. And it's 1-0. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. And now the lefty. And the 1-2 misses to even the count. No, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the second. Here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. Righty delivers. That one fouled off. Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next pitch off the plate. Full count, three and two. And the righty deals. That one out to right. Burleson drifts towards it. Brings it in, and there's one away. So digging in, Adderlin Rodriguez. The first baseman, Adderlin Rodriguez. The pitch. To the right side, Dunn collects it. The throw to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Two outs, base is empty. Here's a speed threat, Luis Liberato. Left-hand batter waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And that one fouled off. And a one-two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And welcome back. On to the third inning. Now it's the second baseman, Nick Dunn. Bounce to the right. The flip to the pitcher covering. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Justin Turner getting ready to hit. He's over one. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Kicks and fires. That one the other way. Takes it in for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Digging in, Alec Burleson. Fought off foul. Next one misses, and it's two and two. Just off the outside part of the plate. He's done a great job getting the first two outs. Want to get this number two hitter, get back in the dugout, and face three, four, five next inning. That's a base hit, and that keeps the inning alive. So two down, and now the shortstop, Evan Mendoza. Fly out his first time. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A 
an absolutely majestic shot. And they add on. It's 3-0. Two outs, nobody on. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Nolan Gorman. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Out to short. Gathers and throws to first. That's the third out. Welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Stepping in, Ethan Skender. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Now the left fielder, Este Yuri Ruiz. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Skender gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Stays alive. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And it's fouled away. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. And the pitch. And now it's filled up. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. And down on strikes. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Man at first. Here's the second baseman, Matthew Batten. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball there. And the right hander deals. And that's outside. Here's the 2 2. And delivers outside. And he walked him. Didn't miss by much right there. Just couldn't get the call off the inside corner. And now the center fielder, Jose Azokar. Next offering is in for a strike. One out. Runners at first and second. One and two here. And he hits a ground ball right side, and that's a base hit. Skender coming home. Here's the throw to the plate, but it's offline. And now just a two-run deficit. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Check swing on the 2-2. Appeal to first. And he held back, according to Rusty Valentine. And there's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Next to hit, Trace Thompson. Ball to strike. Foul ball. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. 
And the next pitch is way outside. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. The pitch. And a foul ball left side. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Here's a rocket out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Runner tags from third. In comes the runner from third. And they trail by one. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball. Just couldn't get it to drop in. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. This one in the air center field. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Start of the fourth, and here's the first baseman, Juan Yepes. The pitch. And now two and one after that missed inside. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. And a pitch. On the ground to first. Slides, but he can't come up with it. And that's going to get into the corner. Safe at second with a leadoff double. He was definitely late on that pitch, but he didn't get beat. He got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first baseline for the knock. Now at the plate, Luke and Baker. Next pitch inside, and now three and two. Man at second. Right side. Thompson brings it in. Runner tagging for third. And he makes it up to third with one away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Ali Sanchez. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. At the belt and fires. That misses the zone. Two balls and a strike. And a pitch. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. And makes the grab. And there's two down. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. Two outs. That one outside. And that's ball three. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. And now a full count. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3-2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3-1, he'll do it again 3-2. Three, 3-2 two. Three, two now. Stays alive. Two outs with a runner at third. Swing and a miss. And that is that. here at the ballpark ready to go bottom four and now it's going to be Adderlin Rodriguez the wind of the pitch going to count one and two he's pitching well but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes usually doesn't work out for success but you can never predict baseball next offering is downstairs up the middle Dives and he can't hang on. That leaves him without a throw, and he's on at first. Well, that may end up being an at-bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And here is Luis Liberato. And a swing and a miss down on strikes, and that's the first out. So up next, Ethan Skender singled and scored his first time. Righty delivers. 
Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Here's the left fielder, Este Yuri Ruiz. Caught looking his first time up. Two on, one out. Misses, and the count's even at two. Righty to the plate. In the air to left center. And it one hops the wall. Mendoza with a relay home. Head first slide safe at the plate. It's 4 3. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. And now Matthew Batten on the ground. Whips it to first. Play is made, two out. Here's the center fielder, Jose Azokar. Ruiz stands at second with two gone. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the second baseman, Nick Dunn. The 2-1. Now fly ball to right center. And there's one down. And now the center fielder, Justin Turner. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Ruiz racing over to make the catch. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Alec Burleson will hit next. One for two. Hit on the ground to the right side. Gets it to first, oh. and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Packy Naughton on the pitch out of the pen here. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Tatis waits. Out in front and foul to the left side. The wide to kick the pitch. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. And now one away. And now the right fielder, Trace Thompson. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. Next pitch inside, two and two. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And it's filled up. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Man at first with one gone. Luis Campusano digs in now. Double play ball to second. Done. Off balance speed. There's one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. And welcome back. Top six. Now it's the shortstop. Evan Mendoza. And he deals. On the ground right side. To first, leadoff man retired in the sixth. 
Here's Nolan Gorman. He's 0 for 1. The 2 1. And downstairs. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Out front, pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. One down, base is empty. And that's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. So digging in, Juan Yepes. One run game, one out, one on. Next pitch misses. Ball two. And now the lefty got him swinging. And there's two away. And now the DH, Luke and Baker. Gorman off of first with two away. Out towards right center field. And it one hops the wall. Throw cut off, out of the plate. In there, he scores. It's 4-4. Gets it done to drive in the run and tie it back up. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Tom Eshelman comes on now. He'll try to strand the runner at second. And yeah, the batter now, Ali Sanchez. And the righty deals. And there's a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two now. This one squared up. Down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. He circles the bases. Just like that, they move in front. It's 6-4. Now the left fielder, number 40. The wind of the pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. And yeah, the count, one and two. Two down, nobody on. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Really protecting with two strikes right there. Pitch wasn't even close, but man, he got the barrel to it somehow. Nice job of bad ball hitting. The next offering misses. And a count two and one. Next pitch has popped up. Skender settles under it. And he makes the catch. And that is that. Welcome back. Well, we go bottom six. And now the first baseman, Adderlyn Rodriguez. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Kicks and fires. And it's even up. pitch and another ball fouled off again and it remains three and two the big lefty turns kicks deals the three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. And next is the designated hitter, Luis Liberato. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Swing and a little roller right side. Fires to second for one. Throw to first, but he beat it. 
Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. At the play, Ethan Skender. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. Este Yuri Ruiz now at the plate. Now moves to first, and he's back safely. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Turner under it, and that is the third out of the inning. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, Justin Turner. <laughs> Left hand hitter waits. Hard hit, right side. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Now the number two hitter, Alec Burleson. And a pitch. Smoked on the ground a second. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Fires over to first. Out on a bang-bang play, but he made it close. Evan Mendoza getting ready to hit. He's already homered in this game. The one-two. Got him. And that will end the inning. Bottom of the inning, here's the second baseman, Matthew Batten. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Turner under it. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one down. Back to the top of the lineup. And now the center fielder, Jose Azokar. And the 3-1. He swings and fouls one off. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two out. Two out. Space is empty. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. The 2-1. just missed this is a really good feeling for a hitter at this point in the ball game you know that they don't want to walk you so you're going to get a pitch to hit you just better not miss it three one and he couldn't come up with it how big a deal is that walk i don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has he can hit a home run i think it was a calculated walk we'll see how it pays off here now they turn to alex reyes trying to protect this lead now, here is Trace Thompson. The next pitch misses. Two and one. There's a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit and then... Hey! And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. Back here at the ballpark. We're at the top of the eighth. Now the third baseman, Nolan Gorman. The 2-1. Ripped to third and picked on a hop. The throw, and a quick out number one. And here's the first baseman, Juan Yepes. Here's a 1 1. Good eye right there. Yep. 
Swing and a pop-up. And just foul. And the pitch. This one in the air right field. Thompson makes the grab. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the DH, Luke and Baker. The 1-1. One -one. Hit in the air, right field. He makes the grab. That is the inning. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now, Luis Campusano. You get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Right-hander kicks, deals, and it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, that'll bring the tying run to the plate, so all eyes on the man coming to the dish right now. Adderlin Rodriguez, the next to hit. 3-1 is on the way. Ripped into center, base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Two on, one out. And now Ethan Skender. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Ripped into left for a base hit. Headed for the play. And it hits the fence. Runner around third in to score. Relay throw home. The tag and he's out. And they cut down the tying run. But one run is in to score. So a lefty out of the pen. Kyle Ryan. A runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. And now here is Este Yuri Ruiz. One for three. Right side. In plenty of time to first. And that'll keep more runs from coming in. Inning over. We go to the ninth, and here's the catcher, Ali Sanchez. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. So up next, number 40. Next one is off the plate, and it's two and one. Right-handed reliever. Roll to short, could be two. Good feed, that's one. A sensational double play. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Nick Dunn. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. Out towards left center, Ruiz heading to the alley. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Junior Fernandez taking over on the mound. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. And welcome back. So bottom of the ninth, here's the second baseman, Matthew Batten. Next one misses, and now three and one. Facing a closer that delivers big-time velocity. Well, normally against a big arm with this kind of velocity, you look for the ball down because the fastball up is a little hard to catch up to, but he's shown really good plate discipline 
by not offering at that last pitch down. Here's a swing and a drive. This one headed down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone out of here. He blasted that one out of here. And we have a tie ball game. It's 6-6. Jose Azokar digs in now. The pitch. Out to short. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. Back and forth we go. A seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And they take care of Tatis for the out. Two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. The 2-1. And that's down it away. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. And the right-hander deals. Just foul of third. And a swing and a miss. The hat trick. And that is that. Welcome back. Here's the center fielder, Justin Turner. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth. So here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button. Try to get some more runs and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. Next pitch misses. Two and two. Left-hand batter waits. On the ground, right side. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. I'm sure that feels pretty good after going hitless in this one so far. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Next to hit, Alec Burleson. Hit on the ground, might be two. Can't field it cleanly. The throw to second, and they turn the double play. So two down now, and here is Evan Mendoza. That's to third. Tosses across to first. That ends the frame. to the bottom of the 10th. Here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. The pitch. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Next pitch misses way outside. Bounced up the middle. Tosses to first, and they get the leadoff man in the 10th. And now the first baseman, Adderlin Rodriguez. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Next offering is in for a strike. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. The next offering misses. Two and two. Throw is offline. 
This one's over. And they walk it off in extra innings. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day. Whether you're a player or a fan, a walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. One-run game here today. Your final score, 7-6. to six. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.